Okay, so we're going to go through the final question now of the June 2016 paper. So the first thing I need to do is calculate the empirical formula. And they've given me the percentage by mass up here. So uh, let's do that. So I have got carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, 54.5 for high, uh, carbon rather, 9.1 for hydrogen and 36.4 for oxygen. You've divide by the relative atomic mass for each of them um, and you will get this to be 4.54. This is obviously going to be 9.1. And then for oxygen, 2.28. You divide by the smallest one, which is the oxygen. So that will become 1, that's 4, and that is 2. So my empirical formula is C2H4O. Now if you look at this peak here, uh, that is the molecular ion. That comes up to 88, which... Now if you uh, work out the mass of that, that comes to 44. And therefore, I need to times it by 2 to get the molecular formula, which is going to be C4H8O2. Right, so now we've got that, we need to uh, go to the IR and look at peaks, uh, which are going to tell me the functional group. Now, this broad peak here is obviously going to be the OH bond. Um, and because it's so broad, that is the OH from a carboxylic acid. This peak here is C double bond O. So it looks like I have definitely got a carboxylic acid there. Um, so therefore I can draw the conclusion C is a carboxylic acid. Now I need to identify the carboxylic acid. So I've got four carbons, but obviously I could have uh, a couple of isomers there. So it could be butanoic acid. Uh, or alternatively, it could be uh, methyl uh, panoic acid. So uh, we need to look at the mass spec to do that. Now the big clue um, is they've given me here is that in the mass spectrum, a secondary carbocation is responsible for the peak. Now if it was butanoic acid, um, you have got that structure there. Um, but obviously if I've got methyl butanoic acid, um, I would have a methyl group there, and then this group would disappear there. So which one is it? Well, this peak here at uh, 43 um, relates to C3H7+. And if you look at the structure up here, you will notice that that is that group there. Um, and therefore, the co compound C is going to be uh, methyl propanoic acid. So the final structure is this one here. Like so.